Yo, Nation, what's going on with you guys, man? It's Kill, it's Truth in the Building, and today, man, today we are talking about For Honor Year 2 and as far as the transparency between Ubisoft and the community. So, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get into the discussion, but if we could take a moment real quick, I want to thank you guys so much. We are less than 100 away from 10,000 subs, and for me, 10K was like a personal goal that I set for myself. By the end of Season 5, I wanted to hit 10K. I challenged myself, and we have been absolutely crushing it. I say we because we are a family. So if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and join the family. Turn on those post notifications. But without further ado, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into the discussion. So I went ahead and wrote some quick little notes on this topic, and it reads as follows, you guys. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I haven't touched for honor in over two weeks. The most I'll do is load the game up to grab a quick thumbnail for a video or just play some quick practice mode to get my reactions up. But I haven't actively played the game for a while now. And anyone that knows me or my content can quickly determine that that's not because of salt or any bullshit like that. It's just to be quite frankly, For Honor in its current state just doesn't entertain me anymore. The thrill I used to get from close fights simply isn't there anymore. All of my friends outside of YouTube have stopped playing altogether to the point where they don't even watch my content and I really can't even blame them man. This game is at a very low point. Not in terms of quality because I think this is the best that it's going to get for this title, but in the terms of content. Season 5 brought a slew of new changes that helped the game in a number of ways. You know, the hero reworks, the dedicated servers, the overall balance changes in general were all very much needed and those need to continue to happen moving forward. But the issue with all of this, in my opinion, is what will the future hold for For Honor Season 6, Season 7, Season 8 onward? I know that Ubisoft has to keep their plans under wrap to not only generate hype in the community with new information, but also make sure any new information or features are accurately displayed and relayed to the community. This status puts Ubisoft at a lose-lose situation. You know, on one hand, they could release information early and get the early hype train rolling, but by the time the actual content reaches players' hands, the hype has all but died and all their hard work is pretty much overlooked and it's back to square one. Or they can do what they've done in the past and stay pretty closed lip and continue to generate late hype with content rolling out quickly after they announce it. While I believe that Ubisoft should maintain a cool medium to keep players interested mid-seasons, while also making sure they have enough information to generate some hype for new seasons, it's also very clear to me that Ubisoft has reached a point where they could be a little more transparent with us as far as new heroes and reworks. And for Honor's Year 1, we knew for certain that two new heroes would be released every season, and we later found out in Season 3 that three heroes would be receiving reworks in a later season. While the community found out through leaks and whatnot about what the DLC heroes entailed and which heroes would be receiving reworks, the fact is that we knew what content was coming to the game, and we had a reason to stick around and put faith into Ubisoft to deliver good content. The same can't honestly be said at this point in year 2. Ubisoft hasn't really told us anything other than there will be no new heroes in Season 6. No new news on which heroes will be receiving reworks next, if any new heroes will be coming in Season 7 or later, and nothing at all as far as new maps and modes, other than the training mode they already announced, let's be clear. This could mean one of three things. One, it could mean that they are working on these things and simply aren't sure if they can meet the deadline to release it in Season 6 so they won't release any detailed news to maintain its hype for later in the game's life. Two, they aren't working on anything outside of their reworks and simply don't have any news to share and they put the game in cruise control for the most part. Or three, they have a detailed schedule of releases of modes, new heroes, and all that good stuff and they've been closed lip for it for the most part for an odd reason. While I hope that it's a mix between one and three, we simply can't rule out the fact that option two could potentially be the reality for For Honor. Year two could potentially be the year that Ubisoft focuses solely on reworks and balancing before they release any new heroes. If this is indeed the case, Ubisoft will need to release three reworked heroes a season in order to reach every rework in the original cast. Add this to further balancing with the already released DLC heroes, this will be a large task in itself. With all that being said, unfortunately this will not keep players interested long term or bring new players in. New game modes, heroes, and maps will. New modes and maps will add a breadth of well needed variety to the game while new heroes in general will create a overall hype similar to the hero reworks but with a completely new layout and moveset and not to mention a lore it adds to the game. In my opinion, Ubisoft will need to tread softly for the next few seasons. They will have to work hard to balance the game with reworks and balancing while also keep long term players happy and engaged with completely new content. I say both of these because both are equally important in keeping the game alive and relatively fresh. While I don't have the expectation that they will bring as many heroes and maps as they did in year one, I do have somewhat a bit of hope that they will bring at least three new heroes and maps and they'll make their way to Ferrana by the end of year two. I believe that this, in addition to seeing every year one hero receive some form of balance update or rework, this could set Ferrana up for its future or, you know, its long of a whole future <laughs> as an arena medieval 3D fighter which was the selling point from the very beginning. 
Now it's up for you guys and the de and developers and the community to figure out if it has a future, but nonetheless, that's what I think. Now when it comes to For Honor, I don't think this game is a Rainbow Six Siege at all. Like a lot of people say, oh, it's trying to make a Siege comeback. And no, this game is definitely um, in the Watchdog category. It's definitely in the Division category where, you know, those games have their niche followings, but their sequels their, or their potential sequels with the Division is going to really be the, was the catalyst, you know. It was the catalyst for Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs 2 was revered as a good game, as a pretty decent game, you know, whereas the Division 1 was revered as just like typical Ubisoft downgrade. So I definitely think a sequel would help this franchise more so than just sitting here trying to give it the service treatment that Rainbow Six Siege got and really um, benefited from because Rainbow Six Siege is a shooter first and foremost this is a fighter so it's very much different so I think this game could really benefit from a sequel where they learn from their mistakes they implement some of the things they implemented thus far in this game and I think that will help that will help kind of build this brand as far because it is a very unique title you know it's very unique so I see like I see good things like in the future if they decide to come out with a, a sequel maybe people will give it another chance but it's definitely um they're gonna have to learn they're definitely gonna have to learn from their mistakes and they're gonna have to be pretty humble and make some changes that are well needed because I know they have a creative vision but sometimes in order to like you know reach that level of of success you kind of gotta like have a little have a little humility and be able to say yeah, maybe we should do it this way because it makes better sense I know we want to do it this way because of our vision we have a vision for things but it's definitely um it's definitely going to be kind of fun to watch you know i want to see by like 2020 you know 2019 well i won't say 2019 but 2020 like I, it wouldn't surprise me if i saw a for honor 2 at e3 or something of that nature you know what i mean but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here what do you guys think about for honors t um year two at this point you know i gave my opinion on it. i want to hear yours so go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about for honor year two at this point you know season five going into season six season seven what do you think have what do you think for honor has in store for us as a community but like i said we are on our way to 10k subs we are less than 100 subs away so if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button join the family and if you guys haven't already make sure to turn on the post notifications drop a like for the video if you dug it and i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here man once again my name is ellis true and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace to the world peace to the earth we are out ladies and gentlemen peace